This is Blake here, I'm the woodworker. And today I'm going to be making one of these candle holders. I took um, <clears throat> some scrap wood and I cut a um, dado right here to put this piece in. And this holds a candle that can be taken out, just a little tea candle. And then I drilled the hole and put a piece in the bottom so you, if the candle can't come out, then you can put something through this hole to push it through. And for this project, all going to be need all you'll need is a little um, tea candle. I think is what they're called. I have a bunch of them. Um, a little scrap piece of wood that goes right here in the bottom. Once you drill the hole all the way through to stop the candle from falling out, or you can drill the whole part way through depending on the thickness that you are using. Um, two inch screws, just for reinforcement on the back right here, to put this piece on. We will use glue for that. So you'll need glue, um, or you can just use the screws, or you can just use the glue and not the screws. And I have these two pieces of oak that are three quarter inches thick, and they're about two and a half inches wide. And I'm making it the same. We're gonna make it the same as this one. So, and I'm also gonna be using a wood burner. On this one, I followed the grain with the wood burner. It looks kind of cool, and I also did. Um, two W's for woodworks and then BK for my my initials. So now we'll get onto the project and start cutting the pieces to length. Okay, so now we have a piece. I'm just going to line this up. It's already the same width as this one. This is also this project is from Steve Ramsey. It's not his um it's not his plans, but I seen the video and. It, I just um, created my own one that I wanted to do. So this is about, or it's five and three quarter inches long. So I'm just going to line this up. I'm not going to measure it. Just. And now I'll cut this on the chop saw. And then I have to make another piece that is the same length as this, which I will take and I have to line this just like that, right there. And this piece is two and five eighths. So you need a piece that is two and five or two and five eighths two by two and five eighths. And a piece that's two and five eighths by what was this? Five and three quarters. So I'll go ahead and cut those and I'll be back. Okay so now I have cut these to length five and three quarters by two and five eighths and two and five eighths and two and five eighths. Now we're drill a inch and a half hole right here that will have the candle in it and about the center. And to find the center you can just take your square let's adjust the camera well you can see it. Take your square and you can use the 45 and line up the two corners which actually you can't really do yeah you can right there just take it line up the two corners and draw your line, it doesn't have to be perfect, and do it this way. You don't have to draw all the way across. You can just draw it right here like this. So right there, that little, where those two lines meet, that is the center. So I'll go ahead and drill a hole. Okay, so I already have my inch and a half Forstner bit in, or not Forstner bit, this is a spade bit. And, and I'm going to drill through until this pokes through, flip it over and drill out the rest. That will leave you with a piece that looks like this. Which is kind of cool. I would burn just a little design. It's like a little disc. If you drill halfway through and then halfway through. The reason I do that is um, just so it doesn't have a ton of blowout on the back. So we'll flip it over. Line up our spade bit in the center of that. I'm going to use a vise, I think. I didn't off the last one. Actually, I don't think I have room for it. I had this base on here, this big base, but I started chiseling up to put an insert in, and I said it wasn't work, gonna work, so I just had this scrap piece of plywood that I was gonna throw away. I'm using that. Okay, here we go.
gonna go ahead and tighten this with the chuck. Okay. Now you have this little disc that'll pop out. It's kind of cool. <clears throat> okay, so now we'll go ahead and start cutting the dado for the handle holder. Actually, before I do that, before I cut the dado, I'm going to put this little piece on the bottom. I have all these nails. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, a pile right here of nails from taking apart pallets. And what I did for this one, I just um, picked out a straighter nail. This one's good. And I just cut it in little sections. I put glue in there, then I drilled the pretty holes, and then just cut this into little, like, centimeter sections. So I'm going to go ahead and cut those, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I cut these four little nail pieces, about a centimeter long or a half inch. <clears throat> and now I'm just going to take a little bit of glue, put it on four corners. Just right on the corners. Spread it around with my finger. Don't need very much. You don't have to put the nails in, but I just think it'd be kind of cool. And I had them. I just a little bit of reinforcement. So now we're going to set this on. Doesn't have to be perfect or anything. Um, make sure you leave enough room right here for that dado when you make the dado so it goes in. There's a little bit of glue in here, but that's okay. If I let it dry before I put the candle in, it should be good, but... Actually, that's pretty deep. It's kind of a... Oh, no, it came out of the tent. <clears throat> yeah, if you listen and say, don't put it in until the glue dries. Anyways, this is three quarter inches, kind of thick for these candles, but it'll be fine. Okay, so now that we have that with the gap, our gap, I'm going to take my drill with a um, pre-drill and countersink bit. I'm not going to countersink, but right on the edges of the corners. Just drilling all the way through, all the way till it gets to this countersink piece. Depending on how thick your material is, you'll have to see how far to drill down, but mine is three quarter and this works. Damn it. I'm having problems with this one. Okay, <clears throat> so. Got a little bit of split apart here, but it's okay. Now I'm just gonna take my, my little hammer. I don't know what kind of hammer this is. Just a really small one. It's like my favorite hammer for little things. You could put a little glue in there, but for me, or I don't use any glue. Mine, my um, 
pre-drill bit. Seems to be the right size diameter for these nails. I use this hammer for my Line it back up. That one's a little bit tougher than the other ones. The last candle holder I made. So I'll just go put these nails in. For these, for me, I like to use these nails because I don't really like to wait for glue to dry. That's one thing I'm not good at. So these will help it. So I don't have to wait. Okay, so I got those in. As you can see, they don't come out the front. I just have to sand these off later. Okay, so now our candle will fit in there. This in it. So now we're going to cut the dado, which goes right here, like this. So I'm going to set this flat, put this up against it, take my pencil, mark across, and then hold it, flip it over, mark across. So now I have the thickness, which is three quarters dado that I need to cut and I'll cut that on the table. Okay, so I'll set the height, which is you just take the, um, the part in to where that ledge is and put it up there to where the ledge bottoms out where you put that piece that we just put on. Now I will set this Usually I'm not very good with dados. I usually make it like too big. I want to make it too small. Then I try to take a little bit away and I take too much away. So let's just go ahead and try this out. Okay, so I got that cut, and this one fit pretty good, actually. Better than the other candle holder. This one. This one's a little loose. So now, all I need to do is put glue. Actually, I'm going to sand the faces of these first, because it'll be harder to sand once I put it together. So I'll just use my belt sander. Excuse me. <coughs> It doesn't take very much. And I'll sand it up later a little bit more with a, a piece of sandpaper by hand. So now we'll put glue in this dado. And make sure you put this right piece, the wider piece. Put it in like that. I like to slide it back and forth to spread out the glue sound. And this, wait, okay, this is a little bit wider this way, I think it's the wrong way, but it'll be okay. Not the wrong way, but like, it'd be turned one or something, okay. So now I'll just take, I just have these quick grip clamps, quick grip clamps, and I will, I just put one glue, or one clamp right in the middle, not very, that tight. 
and I can just take my pre-drill and drill a hole all the way through. These will be for those inch screws for extra support. I use my impact driver. I have two batteries, but one's on the charger, or one's in my radio. Um, <coughs> these inch screws. These pull it a lot, a lot tighter than this clamp just gets loose if you don't clamp it very tight. See, this clamp's really loose now, but it was tighter. Okay, so now I will swipe off the blue squeeze out from both sides. And that's basic um, candle holder that I will make. Goes in there like that. It's a little low. I might um, actually. This is what you can do. That works out good. Get this out first. Okay. So if you have your candle, if your candle is too low, and you're because if you use three quarter and then it's too low, I need to drill the hole in the back still right here, right here, so you can put something out. Is this where I need it? Wow. Usually they just come out. Almost. There we go. Okay. So um if you if your candle's too short, you can take this piece that you cut off, that little disc piece, put that in the bottom of your hole like that. I just thought about this. Now I can put Candle back in the tin. Usually they don't come out. Okay, I can put it in there. It's, that raises it up about an eighth inch. So this way you're not going to burn. Or like it's not way down in there. This way you can you're not going to burn around this some. And I'm going to take some sandpaper, just sand that up a little bit. <clears throat> and um, I sh I'm not going to use the wood burner. I don't think it might look I don't know if it would look cool if I took the wood burner and just did like little lines around these grain. I don't think I'm going to this one I'll just leave plain or I might do some other design to it. I might do an update video or something if I did anything different to it. So these are my two different candle holders. I'll probably be selling them in our garage sale. Um Please like and subscribe and go ahead and make your own.